Robert Katz, identified three leadership skills, called technical skills, human skills, and conceptual skills, as the basic personal skills, essential for leadership. Leaders must possess these three skills. These skills, assist them in optimizing a their performance. Technical skills are related to the field. Human skills are related to communicating with people. And conceptual skills, relates to setting the vision. The skills theory of leadership, emerged as a prominent theory in 1955, when, Robert Katz, published his paper, Skills of an Effective Administrator, in the Harvard Business Review. The research was based on, Katz's own first-hand observations of executives in the workplace. He suggested in the paper, that effective administration, or leadership, depends on three basic personal skills, technical, human, and, conceptual. He identified these three skill areas, as the most important skills, that the executives had in common, and used on a regular basis. Katz's, three skill areas. The first type of skill is, technical skills. As defined by Katz in 1955, technical skill, is knowledge about and proficiency in a specific type of work or activity. It is the ability to work, with things. Technical skill is proficiency, based on specific knowledge, in a particular area of work. Technical skills are most important at lower and middle levels of management. Technical skills are less important at upper-slash-senior management levels. Technical skills, includes competencies in a specialized area, analytical ability, and the ability to use appropriate tools and techniques. Technical skills play an essential role in producing, the actual products, a company is designed to produce. Having appropriate technical skills signifies that, the person is competent, and knowledgeable with respect to the activities, specific to an organization, the organization's rules and standard operating procedures. Katz termed the second skill as, human skills. As technical skills relate, to the ability to working with things. Similarly human skills relate to, the ability to work with people. Human skills, are people skills, that enable the leader, to work effectively with subordinates, peers, and superiors. It is the leader's expertise in interacting with others, in a way that will enhance, the successful completion of the task at hand. It is being aware of one's own perspective on issues, as well as, the openness to hear and appreciate inputs of others, on their perspectives. Consequently, leaders with higher levels of interpersonal skills, are better able to adapt, their own ideas to other people's ideas. Especially, when this will aid in, achieving organizational goals more quickly and efficiently. These leaders, create an atmosphere of trust, where employees can feel comfortable, and empowered to contribute their best. These leaders are more sensitive, and empathetic to, what motivates others, create an atmosphere of trust. And take others' needs, and motivations into account, when deciding what to do, to achieve organizational goals. Human skills are important at all the three levels of management. Lower, middle, and senior level. The third skill mentioned by Katz is conceptual skill. These are conceptual skills, that allow the leader to think through, and work with ideas. Leaders with higher levels of conceptual skills, are good at thinking through the ideas and concepts. Creating visions, strategic plans and setting direction. These are cognitive, business, and strategic skills. As leaders climb the career ladder, higher levels of conceptual leadership skills became necessary. This skill is most important for top managers, and must, if you want to grow as a leader. Let us now, look at some examples for each of these, skill areas. Examples of technical skills. For a software company the knowledge of coding can be considered as technical skills. Knowledge of Unix or Linux operating system, programming language, database management, etc. are technical skills. Whereas for an accounting firm, the technical skills might include an understanding of generally accepted accounting principles, knowledge of commercial laws, knowledge of tax laws, etc. For a person working in operations, 
the operational know-how of how the process works. And for a professional like pharmacist, technical skills means understanding of medicine. Moving on to the examples of human skills. One of the most important human skill is effective communication. Another important skill to mention is team leadership, motivating others, and creating a positive attitude. Ability to be a good team player, development of cooperation, and team spirit. Building great interpersonal relations and growing your network. As you grow in your career, you need to rely more and more on conceptual skills. As a leader grows higher in the organizational ladder, the expectations from him is to provide creativity and innovation. They drive decision-making, and facilitates problem-solving. They need to think as a whole, linking the dots, and provide an end-to-end -end perspective. Leaders set the strategic direction. They create the vision, and motivate the folks to, dedicatedly pursue the organizational goals. Senior leaders should have ability, to work easily with, complex abstractions and hypothetical situations. All product names, logos, and brands are property of their respective owners. All company, product and service names used in this course are for identification purposes only. Use of these names, logos, and brands does not imply endorsement. Course uses royalty-free stock images and music. Thank you for watching or downloading our training material. If you need copies of this material for corporate training or commercial use, please contact info at technofunk.com for further details. To watch our free videos visit us at www.youtube.com slash technofunk.